Basically, um, I mean, the sort of like the. There were there were lots of different ideas um, when we were doing the test and we were talking about sort of everything, but the, the, the words that we kept coming to were um, like purity um, and like transparency, um, like this idea of something slightly um, organic. Also, um, the clothes have a lot of color and pattern, I and mean, that's what Shane and Chris do. That's that's so incredible. The the combination of patterns and colors. Um, so the makeup needed to be very like alive feeling, really real. So we wanted the skin to be incredibly, incredibly glossy and luminous. So um, we're, we're giving all the girls nice massages before the show, um, using lots and lots and lots of moisturizer. Um, actually sampling, we don't, I don't have product to show you, but we have little samples that we're using of our new skincare that we're launching for mm -hmm. fall 2012, um, specifically the product to be on the lookout for is Luminous Moisture Cream. Um, it's incredible, but it has this incredible like lit from within sort of quality. Um, and then we're blending very little foundation into the into the look. So um, just where the girls need a little bit of a cleanup, like under the eye and in the center of the face, and no powder. Um, we're just using powder around the eyes. And then you know we sort of were referencing a little bit of that like um, almost like a '90s shaped smoky eye it's a little bit more hard um, it's a little bit more has a, it's a little I mean I don't want to say punk but it has that sort of like straight you right. know feeling it, it has a little bit more attitude um, but in a very transparent way so we basically are it's, it's pretty simple we just took um, a brown eyeliner called Mambo um, and we literally drew you know sort of drew the line from the bottom straight out in the corner and then connected it into the crease, into the bridge, and then basically blocked out the corner. And then all we did was blend it um, to make it more transparent and, and more sheer, more you know, so that you could sort of see through it. And then um, we set it with a little bit of Bengali eyeshadow. It's again like a very barky brown, so no color in the makeup. We thought it was important to keep it void of color so it doesn't interfere with you know the collection at all mm -hmm. um, but it needed to have an, the same feeling and attitude instead of like normally when you do a smoky eye and you do like the depth at the lash line and then you fade away so the lash is actually dark we kept it bare so it's it creates almost this halo around the eye and then no mascara so um, it, it creates this like slightly ethereal feeling around the eyes. It's a little, there's, it's almost like a slight like it, it, it almost references like a Renaissance feeling, but without, um, but and not in such, such a literal way. And then we, what did we do? Oh, we have, uh, we're using this rose gold color from uh, the Kuala Lumpur duo. It's amazing, um, such a pretty one. And we literally just sort of like really obviously are using it to highlight the brow bone and to highlight the inner corner of the eye. So it's it's sort of disconnected and gestural. It's not um, it's not connected to the makeup. It's not blended. Okay. And then we'll are you not applying it with a brush? Or are you applying it with? Like we're, your I, we're using or? it. We're using a brush, but sort of in the to pick up the color. But it's sort of to look like it's more like a paint stroke or a finger stroke or a gesture. Okay. Not so blended. And then the very last thing we're doing, which of course is not made for the eyes, but we're using um, this is a new color for fall 2012 called Rouge Tribal. Um, it's our larger than life longwear formula gloss, so mm -hmm. it actually stays put. They're not tested for the eyes, so of course I'm never recommending to put it on the eyes, but we are just like very last minute, um, right before the show, we're glossing the eyelid. And it's really beautiful because it's this like burgundy, glittery color. Um, and it just creates this beautiful texture on the eyes. And it's, it's very, you know, I think it's really dreamy and ethereal, really pretty, but it has like a really strong spirit. Um, to it, but you can see like really almost no complexion makeup, really radiant, really dewy, and then, you know, I almost like what the gloss does, like how the gloss almost removes the makeup underneath it, instead of like putting this heavy thing on, so it somehow makes it seem more like skin, um, which is which is really beautiful. And then the lips, we just did um, lip moisturizer, we didn't do any color on the cheeks or on the on the lips at all, it's just really on the eyes.